Okay, but now we've got some really cool ones, right? We've got the polygon, which is undefined. And you'll see I've made each one of those a little bit different, but they're all multiple-sided, thus poly, right? There's not a particular number to it. And organic, which is just whatever, right? Okay, so uh, we'll just start it off by drawing a quick guidelines right here. Yeah, that was good. Let's see. Is that good? I want it. What about? Can I measure that? Ooh, let's put it over just a little bit more. If I wanted it to be just right. I want things to be just right. If I'm being technical, measure. Got to measure it if you want it to be technical here. I'll just go up this. That way I know it's a pretty good size. So I got a little bit there. A little bit here. And something like this here. Okay, is that looking good to me? No, it looks horrible. Uh, let's straighten it out a little bit. Hey, that's the nice thing. I'll probably repeat this one. But you know, the difference between engineering and art is that when you're engineering something, things have to actually be right. When you're doing art, just got to look right, <laughs> you know. And maybe that's why I'm an artist instead of an engineer. Okay, so what is this? this? Is drawing four, right? We did drawing two. We did drawing three, and now we're doing drawing four. Okay, so let's label it here. So this is drawing. Man, if I was you, you know, I'm using this nice wooden pencil. If I was using a mechanical pencil, I'd have replaced four leads already. I'd be breaking them left and right. Anyways, this was drawing number four. Because when I make things dark, boy, I push down. I do it like I mean it. And what does this have to do with? Well, it has to do with line. Okay. It has to do with value, how dark or light things are. And what are we really focusing on now is shape. You're going to see, because things are going to get a lot more complicated real soon, that shape, shape is your friend. You break things down into shape. Okay, who are you? Put your last name. Label everything, right? And your first name. I forgot how to write my name. Okay, and then we've got uh, period. Okay, I don't know. What are we, period? 12, I don't know, period 7. We'll do period 7 and period 3. Was that what we were doing? Something like that. Okay, and then what's this? This is exercise number 4. I know they're all along the same lines, right? They're all line, value, and shape. But that's the fourth one you've done. So when they're all stapled together, I can just go through, oh, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, very easily. Okay, so polygon. Let's see, let's label it. Polygon, as in more than one side polygon okay and so like I was saying a polygon could be basically square I mean you could just a square is a polygon of sorts but it could be undefined so you can see how you know I've got one side is taller than the other they're at different angles or not necessarily parallel at all that's my polygon nice and light okay and we're gonna write light Or try and draw or write neatly. Better than I'm doing, hopefully. Okay, a polygon could have curved sides to it. So let's say, what if I did this one? This has got a curve here and maybe a curve right here. And your polygons can be totally different than mine, right? And it could have more than four sides. It could have an undefined number of sides there. So that's my medium. Let's make it a little bit more medium than that. Alrighty then. There we go. Okay. And then finally, a dark one. Well, that was medium. Let's write that. Okay. A dark one. So it could have a combination. So you could have, like, let's say, some nice um, straight lines. No problem. You could have some curved lines, some more straight lines, however many lines you want. And that could also be a polygon right there. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to darken that up because this is dark. Dark, dark, dark. Okay. Nice and dark. There we go. All right, if I make a mistake on these dark lines, I'll just have to pretend like I meant it because I'm not erasing those. These ones are easy, right? But those ones, no way. Okay, and this is dark. Okay, so the next one would be organic. Now, on my first one, I drew a poo, poo I don't know if you could see it, but I figured that was just kind of funny for organic. But maybe, maybe it's not a poo, poo Maybe it's an ice cream. I go to Japan a lot, and it's hard to tell the difference of <laughs> which one's which. So, you know, so here we go. You know, I had this nice and light. And so here's just my little shape right here. All right. Okay, and that's my little shape that's organic, and I'll just label this as being light. Okay, but what, a, what about a puddle, let's say, a puddle of water? And so here we go, just any old shape. Ooh. Doesn't matter, right? There's your organic shape right there. I'm going to darken that up a little bit because we want medium. So follow my lines. Pretty good. Not bad. A lot of curves in this one, boy. Okay, and that's very medium. Okay. And how about dark? And so here's a shape that you probably recognize here. I got sort of a leaf shape. Now, you know, just like the polygons, your organic shapes could be anything. That's the nice thing about them. Square, rectangle's got to be well, square, rectangle. Circle's got to be a circle. A parallelogram better be parallel, otherwise it's not a parallelogram. But uh, your organic shapes could be anything. So your classic sort of ficus leaf shape there. Maybe it's the shape of an eye, something like that. Okay. And once I've got my shape the way I want it, let's say I wanted to change it a little bit. You know, I drew it lightly at first, right? Make it really easy to change. So let's say I brought it out there a little bit more. It was just fine the first time, but there it is, right? And so then once I've got it how I want it, then I can darken it. Then I can hold my pencil down here. Before, I probably want to hold my pencil way back here. Okay. So here we go. And that is dark. Okay, nice and dark. I'm going to darken these ones up a little bit. Okay, and even here. And here. And even here. I don't think I did that on the other ones, but eh, what the heck. As long as it's neat, you know. Okay. Alrighty. So, and this was exercise four. So, what I'm looking for is I want three three good ones from this set here. So what do we got? We got exercise one, which was your square and circle. Uh, oh, it's exercise one. Exercise two, excuse me. Exercise two. Exercise three, which was your triangle and your parallelogram. Make sure that it's nice parallel. And exercise four. And those are your shapes. And those shapes are going to come in real handy when you actually want to start, well, you know, drawing things. You know? Okay. So anyways, I uh, hope you did a good job. Do a neat job. If it's not neat, I'm not going to accept it. You know why? Because why? Why do I want to waste my time and your time? Right? If you're going to do something, do it like you mean it. I want you to get something out of it. I really do. Okay, well, that's about it for this tutorial.